A distiller's parrot is a simple device that allows a hydrometer to be floated in a stream of distillate. It's called a parrot for obvious reasons, and it is the standard way of monitoring the proof of spirit as it is made. It is the same for continuous distillation as for pot distillation, but there are a couple of complications that continuous distillation brings to this simple instrument. The first is true of any still that's being used to make azeotropic alcohol. We're interested in the range of 95-97% to 97 alcohol. To allow for variations in temperature, we need a hydrometer that will cover the range from about 93-98%. to 98%. We are interested in fractions of a percent, so we want a high sensitivity hydrometer, and one of these that covers the range 90-100, to 100, graduated in tenths of a percent, is what I suggest rather than the more common and inexpensive ones that cover the range 70 to 100 and are graduated in whole percentage points. These precision hydrometers are more expensive, costing around $10 each. They're also larger, measuring 370 millimetres long. The lower one shown here is for 90 to 100 percent and is 21 millimetres wide. They are more fragile than standard hydrometers. Their size means you need a large parrot that's both wider and deeper than normal. This, and the slow output of a continuous still, means that it takes two to three hours to fill the parrot. So not only is spirit production slow, but so is the response of the parrot. But we're only checking on the still every few hours, so that isn't such a problem. The large diameter of the parrot, and the many hours for which the still operates, brings another problem. Evaporation losses of alcohol from the surface of spirit exposed to air at the top of the parrot. I've calculated that these amount to several percent of the alcohol produced. I've modified the design of the spirit parrot so that its top protrudes through a flat board over which a jar or drinking glass can be placed upside down to prevent alcohol vapour escaping while allowing the hydrometer to be read. When measuring alcohol concentration to within a tenth of a percent, you need to measure the temperature of the parrot, and I use a DS18B20 temperature sensor. Related to that is a final complication. These hydrometers are graduated in tenths of a percent, but the tenths are sufficiently far apart that you can make a fair estimate by eye of a further decimal place. If you're using a DS18B20 temperature probe, you'll be using temperatures with a resolution of 0.0625 degrees centigrade. Tables available to correct alcohol hydrometer readings for temperature generally only have a resolution of 1 degree centigrade or Fahrenheit and 1% alcohol, which is insufficient for this purpose. Therefore, you need a continuous interpolated function to approximate the relationship given in the tables, and for a spirit hydrometer, this is the function that I derived and used. Continuous distillers also want a second parrot to monitor the alcohol content of the bottoms which are being discarded to help minimise the amount of precious alcohol that's going down the drain. Here things take another step up because the change in density of an alcohol water mixture is significantly less per percent alcohol at 1% than at 95%. Hydrometers intended for the low concentration range have to be more sensitive than for the spirit range. That makes them larger with narrower necks. The upper one shown here is a 0-10% hydrometer and is 30mm wide. They are more expensive, more fragile, and need an even bigger parrot than the spirit hydrometers. Again, you need a thermometer in the parrot to monitor the temperature, and an interpolated function, but it's a different one from the spirit hydrometer. And this is the function that I derived and used. We are not concerned with evaporative losses this time, and even though the parrot is larger than the spirit one, it will fill more quickly because the bottom's flow rate is higher than the spirit flow rate. Wash is usually between 5 and 15% alcohol, and with the steam there's about 10 times as much bottoms as there is spirit. Amazingly, I've only managed to break one of these high sensitivity hydrometers so far, and I did it by dropping it about an inch into the bottom of an empty parrot, for which reason I now always put a piece of silicon rubber tubing at the bottom of the parrot, as shown here, to act as a cushion. Hydrometer fragility has another unfortunate consequence. They often get broken in shipping. In fact, in my experience, they usually get broken in shipping. 
The ones I use come from China, and the spirit hydrometers of 90-100% to 100% cost about $10. The 0-10% ones cost about $15. The supplier I use packages them fairly well, but not in a way that's particularly resistant to bending, and they frequently get broken at the neck in transit. I wonder if this is because postal workers in the Occident are more careless than those in the Orient, so Oriental companies are not particularly accustomed to the kind of abuse parcels will receive in the Occident. Of the 0-10 hydrometers I've ordered, more than half have broken in transit. They're always happy to send replacements, but it takes weeks. Because of that, I have at least one of each spare, as I know I'm going to break one sooner or later. There are other solutions to the monitoring problem, and in a future video I will relate my tribulations with trying to make electronic parrots.